today's video, I, me, and myself am doing a haul for y'all. Well, you some of y'all already know how I feel about doing hauls. You know, I don't typically buy a lot of items unless I have a project going on, if it's a, just a need. But I have really been shopping and finding some good things, and I couldn't wait to get home to share them with you guys. Matter of fact, I was out today. I ran up to my local big lot to see if I could catch one more of these reindeers that I'm going to show you. But, of course, they didn't have it. I'm hot. It's still hot down here in the south. I have my fan blowing. My hair has went supernova from me sweating. So let's just go ahead and jump on into this haul. Well, since I was talking about big lots, let's go ahead and I'll start with big lots. I knew that I was in the market to pick up some more garland this year because I am changing my Christmas decor and I'm just trying to pick up, you know, a few pieces here and there, not to break the budget. But I saw this garland it's, it's actually six feet of garland. It already has the pine cones on it. And it's a mixture of that kind of like cheap looking garland. But it also has some of the more, that more expensive looking garland attached to it. So that's why I got it. I actually ended up getting two of these. And for $10, I figured, hey, this is a pretty good deal. And like I said, it already has the pine cones on it as well. I'm not sure where I'm going to use this. I'm undecided if I'm going to use it outside on the railing or maybe in the house on the fireplace, but we will see. The reason why I ended up at the Big Lots is because I saw Denise, be my guest with Denise, she posted a picture of her local Big Lots and they had a beautiful display and I saw some reindeer. So I wanted to try to catch some of the reindeers, at least two, and I was only able to find this one he's actually gonna get a makeover he was $12 but I'm going to do a little something so that it'll go better with my decor and how I'm changing everything this year but it is absolutely gorgeous I really need to find another one Wani be looking out for me so guys that was it that's all that I got from big lots I got the two garland and the one reindeer let's move on to Hobby Lobby. So I did stop by Hobby Lobby. I didn't pick up a lot of things. Like I'm really trying to be kind of selective and make sure it's something that I absolutely want. But the things that I picked up from Hobby Lobby I feel will make a really big impact with my Christmas decor this year. I did pick up, you all see those, a lot of these little golden berries. Yeah, I have some gold sprigs but these were really pretty and then they were 40% off. So these were actually $1.59 with 40% off, but really pretty. So I think I got maybe 12, 12 or 14 of these. But the biggest thing that I got from Hobby Lobby were these. How gorgeous. Can y'all see this? Let me lean back. I picked up two, and I'm actually going to go back and get two more. But they're, they, they have the hook and the chain. I mean, you can hang them anywhere. They have a little weight to them. They're metal. I guess they're, yeah, they're metal. Just a beautiful ornament. They were actually $29, 20, well, you might as well say $30 with uh, the 40% off. So about $18. And I felt that they were definitely worth the $18. I don't want to get hit myself in the face with the hook. But I thought they were definitely worth the $18 a piece. And I'm, I know that I'm going to go back and eventually get two more to complete my design for the holidays. So, okay. So, that's all that I got from Hobby Lobby. So, next, let's talk about home goods. So I actually found this beautiful crochet with the golden feet. It has a little golden knob on the top. It's, it's actually, it's a big, y'all, it's pretty big. And the, I got two of these. They were, I paid $20 for both of these. I don't know if any of y'all get the Restoration Hardware books. I get the Restoration Hardware books. And they always have these crochets with the fairy lights on the inside. And they're pretty expensive. So I said, well, heck, I found two that were a good size. I can add the fairy lights and I can put these anywhere in the house. I got little, I know it's kind of hard to see, these cute little napkins. Y'all know I've been looking for some napkins for my bar cart. And do not place that microwave. 
Okay. It says, gather here with a grateful heart. And I am so grateful to everyone who has subscribed to my channel. You know, y'all come back again and again to watch my videos. I really appreciate it. But these are going to go on the bar cart. And I paid $3.99, $4. And I figured since the holidays was coming, and y'all know how I love me some gold, I also got some straws. These little cute straws. They're kind of small, though. Sip, sip, hooray. But they were $1.99. You know, I got them right in that area when you're getting ready to check out. But they are gold and white. I don't know how well this is showing up on the camera. But I got, I got a story to tell y'all about my camera. The next thing that I got, some of those non-slip, thin, huggable hangers. I got three packs of these by Ellen Tracy. They were $16. $16.99, $17. Suggestion came to me from one of my viewers to get rid of all of the plastic thick hangers and try some of the huggable hangers because she said that it would save me even more space in my closet. And I was like, hey, I'm going to try it out. So Charlotte, thank you so much for the tip. And once I get everything rehung, I will do a quick little update to let you guys know how they're working out. But got some hangers the final most gorgeous thing that I got from home goods I have been wanting one of these and I saw my girl Sharon she's so fabulous and she is so funny as well Sharon you made me spend some money I just want you to know this one is on you but she did a, one of her home videos I can't say exactly which one she had gone home goods found a stand when I prayed to God I said Lord please let me find a stand like that and my prayers were answered look at this can you this is a hammered a nickel hammered gold three-tier stand how gorgeous is this thing it was $24.99 $25 y'all <laughs> I think I'm in love I, I, I really think I'm in love this thing is absolutely gorgeous it can be displayed for food I mean I can put some Christmas decorations on it I don't know exactly what I'm going to do with it but as you can tell I am super duper excited about it so so y'all that was all that I got from Home Good. the next store that I went to was Burlington I actually haven't been to Burlington in a while, but I really found some good stuff there in their home department. So y'all, I thought I was done playing with pumpkins, but when I saw these, I said I had to get two of them, and I actually have them down in my family room. I haven't taken the tag off yet because I was like, I'm gonna take those pumpkins back. Do I need any more pumpkins? But my heart is saying, yes, Shantae Levette, keep the pumpkins. Look at this pumpkin. Oh, it is a burlap pumpkin with gold studs. Just absolutely gorgeous. They were $14.99, $15 a piece, which is kind of pricey. I was like, mm. but I really do like them and I have them sitting on my mantle. But I have decided that I'm going to go ahead and cut the tag off and keep them. So this was one item. And y'all, I've been noticing that I really have been buying stuff in pairs. Right now, I feel like I have this symmetry thing going on, but I know that if I buy a couple of items and I use it either one for myself or I could also use it for a client's house, you know, hey, I got to justify it some kind of way. The next item that I picked up from Burlington, I have been wanting me some of these little topiary balls for the longest. Can y'all see that? These are just so good. You can use them throughout the year, but I'm thinking about how I'm going to kind of change my decor up for Christmas. I paid $14.99 for one. And the other one, I paid $11 for this one. And the reason is, is because some of the um, foliage was missing right here, which I'm just going to pull some from underneath. And so I asked the manager to give me a discount. because This one kind of sort of has a bald spot. So I got two of these and anybody that knows me, 
knows that I absolutely love orchids. I have one, two, three, four, I have five orchids in my house. They all don't bloom at the same time. Sometimes I'll have three to bloom. Sometimes I'll have two to bloom. Last year I had three to bloom. But while I was at Burlington, I came across this beautiful orchid in a gold pot. They were $12.99. $13. It looks really real and it's pretty big too. I don't know if y'all can see the fullness of that. I decided to go ahead and get two. I know that hey I'll never have to worry about it blooming or not blooming. But if I don't use it for myself I can always use this in a client's house because it is my favorite flower. So that was all of the home accessories that I got. But I did do some personal shopping for myself since I cleaned out my closet, it allowed me to assess my fall and winter wardrobe. And I knew I only needed just a few items to kind of coordinate with some things that I already had. So, let me show you guys what I picked up in the fashion department. I didn't get much because I have set kind of a rule for myself after I did my big closet clean out. I eliminated 40% and I will make sure if y'all have not checked that video out, I'm going to leave a link right here I added three and I got rid of two but I did pick up I've already worn this this was 14 no I take the back this was $12.99 and it's like a loose neck turtleneck that's sleeveless because honey when I get hot and I get the sweats on me sometimes I just need to take my jacket off so this one right here is good it's real cute it has a nice ribbed detail and the bottom has this extra banding but really like the color of this gray so that was one item I actually was looking for a turtleneck that was black and I didn't find one so I'm still looking for a turtleneck but I do like clothes that kind of have a little detail to them so I found this mustard turtleneck it's really really soft I paid $14.99 for it but I, what I really liked about it was the little button detail on the sleeve. And I think this is going to look so pretty for winter and fall, especially with a pair of uh, dark denim jeans or something that's black. So that was item number two. I have been wanting a jacket, not anything that's too serious or costs too much money. And I came across this one in a fabulous color. Mmm. And I thought the price was reasonable. This one, this jacket was $14.99, $15. It's about new look, but what I like about it is it has this little puffy detail on the sleeve, and it has this ruching detail on the side that makes it kind of cut in on you so that it complements your shape. And I do have a video coming up, I want to say in two weeks, where I'm going to show you guys how I'm putting these items together. I did find a cute scarf. Y'all, I love animal print. I think the only other person that loves animal print more than me is my sister, Nisi. We always talk about who loves animal print the most. <laughs> and I always tease her because I, I always tell her that, hey, you already know that when you get older, you're going to be looking like Pig Bundy with all the animal print on. But I think I'm going to be Pig Bundy number two. Just a classy print. It goes with anything. Browns, blacks, you know, just something to kind of spruce up. But I think it can make an outfit look very, very chic. Another item that I think is a must-have for your fall or winter wardrobe, depending on how hot you get, is to have a nice what are these? Capes? Shawls? I don't know. I guess my grandmother used to call them shawls back in the day. But I found this one. This one was $24.99. It has a little fringe detail on it. And it's very reminiscent of something from Burberry. But I did not pay the Burberry price. And usually, you know, these are like one size fits all. I do have one that's in black, but it's actually black on one side and gray on the other. But I wanted to get one that was a, that was all black. And this one was by Isaac 
I never knew how to say his name, but he has a line at Target. But this was actually at Burlington. And again, it has the little French detail. Of course, one size fits on. I don't know what this material is, but it is really, really soft. And pretty warm. And I just think these capes always kind of make your outfit look a little more sophisticated. And I did pick up some shoes. I actually got my boots from Macy's. Macy's was having an awesome sale. Buy one pair of boots and get 20% off. Buy two pair, you get 30% off. You buy three pair, you get 40% off. So of course I opted for the three pair. I found two pair at $49.99, $50. And a third pair for $69.99, $70. The total for the three pair of boots would have been $170 plus whatever tax. But because they were having the sale, I was able to get three pair for $102. You can't beat that. That's like about $33 for a pair of boots. So the first pair that I got was actually a pair of booties. And But this is a funny shade of gray. It's not really a heather gray, and I'm kind of on the fence to see if I'm going to keep them. I do like how they look. They fit really good. But these were the ones that were $60, $69, and have a pointed toe. Heel is not too thin or too thick. I do like the detail, but it's a suede and a kind of like a animal print or snake skin. The next pair that I got... I didn't quite have a pair of boots that was this shade of brown. But what I liked about them, of course, was the heel, kind of a semi-rounded toe, had some nice detail, and these were $49 or $50, and they kind of have that ruching effect to them. So I got these in this color, and I got a pair in black. The black pair, for whatever reason, had a very odd smell. Matter of fact, it wasn't odd. It was just stinky. Matter of fact, it was stanky. It smelled like fish or... It was just indescribable. So I took those boots back. The, the brown ones are okay. I exchanged the boots out for a different pair. A, a different, whole different style. This is actually Storytime PSA. I went by the shop. My, where my boot space is located um, over in that area which is not it's a trendy area I can't say that it's bad good um, but I stopped at a place to get something to eat it was a little burger joint had never been there before I wanted to try it out well after leaving Macy's I had my boots and the back of my truck on the floor of the back seat but they weren't on the back seat it was on the floor in the back area and guys by the time I went in and got my food and, and came back out, somebody had broken into my truck, taken the boots out because they saw the bag in the car. So when I walked up to my truck, I was like, I didn't leave the back window down. Yeah, y'all, they caught me slipping. Papa was watching me when I got out the truck. Not a bad part of town, but crime can happen anywhere. As long as it took me to go in and get my food, come back out, my truck was broken in, they broke the window, they took my boots, my new boots that had never been worn. I was so caught up that they had taken my boots. I didn't realize until I got home that I had went out that day and did some filming. And in my most favorite bag was my new Canon T5i with the lens, my 64, my 32 gigabyte SD card, my planner that I plan out all of my videos. So y'all know when I realized it, it was like tear, 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 tear. You work hard for something and for someone just to take it away like that, it is heart wrenching. Material things you can always get back, your life you can't. I could have walked up on them while they was actually committing the act. So I just thank God for his grace and mercy that you know things worked out the way it did you gotta give them thanks in all things so i'm telling you guys don't get caught slipping be very vigilant just make sure that you put any of your goods away out of sight is out of mind that was a very expensive burger the burger ended up costing me a window which i got repaired the next day camera battery sd cards planner bag and of course my new boots so this is my psa y'all be safe 
the holiday season is almost upon us. I thank y'all so much for watching. I do read all of your comments. I do try to answer as many as I can. Again, much love to my YouTube family. And until the next video.